This study was designed to understand the role of the endometrium, the lining of the womb, in patients who suffer from recurrent pregnancy loss. So recurrent pregnancy loss or recurrent miscarriages affect 1-5% to of all women during the reproductive age. It's a severe and debilitating disorder. And previously we have shown that the lining of the womb, the stroma cells within the lining of the womb, become uh, able to sense an embryo upon implantation. To do that, the, the stroma cells have to differentiate in these specialized deciduous cells. And that process is defective in patients who have frequent miscarriages, which basically disable the ability of the endometrium to select out high quality versus low quality endometrium. What is so surprising is that the behavior of these cells from individual patients is recapitulated in culture. And this is to suggest that the cells were programmed and has mem have memories. And so the purpose of this study was to try to understand the nature of this memory in, in these primary cultures. So we obtained the uh, genome-wide uh, methylation data for a number of patients and uh, spent a lot of money. And uh, we analyzed this data set in our lab and um, at first it seemed that there was absolutely no differential methylation between the patients and the controls and it was quite a disappointment. Uh, we were wondering what to do with the data and uh, initially it looked like the whole data was a waste. Um, but then, luckily, instead of discarding the data, we deepened the analysis, we went beyond standard tools, we explored the data further and we found that there was hidden from this side of normal tools, which are based on CPG methylation, there was a big pervasive signature that was characterizing the difference between patient and controls um, on the genomic signature that involved CA-rich motifs. Yes, yeah, so CA methylation is, is uh, largely absent in somatic cells, but it is a feature of stem cells, including embryonic stem cells. So the methylation analysis pointed that there may be a deficiency in stem cell population in the endometrium of patients who suffer from miscarriages. So we set out to characterize and to quantify the abundance of clonogenic cells in the endometrium of control patients and miscarriage patients, analyzing approximately 60 biopsies. And what we found was that there was a strong uh, correlation between deficiency in stem cells and the number of previous miscarriages in these patients. In addition, we also found evidence that stem cell deficiency in the endometrium is associated with heightened senescence, accelerated aging of, of these cells, and that explained the phenotype of, of that explained the, the primary defects in patients with re, suffering recurrent miscarriages. So this is, study is important for several reasons. First of all, it really points to towards a strategy where we can identify patients who are at risk of miscarriages before they even become pregnant. Secondly, it really also suggests that cell-based therapies may be an effective way of uh, preventing miscarriages in these women. So it really opens up a very new and novel treatment strategy um, which we hope to develop in, in studies to come.